Hello viewers, today I am going to demonstrate you a clinical test for a massive rotator cuff tear and the test is an arm drop test. So I'll show you in a patient who has got a massive rotator cuff tear as what is this test and how to perform this test. So today I have a 72 year old gentleman who has come with uh, uh, prime complaints of inability to use his uh, right shoulder and inability to use his hand because of loss of movement in his right shoulder. He's 72. Um, so this, this is a typical age at you will start seeing massive rotator cuff tear. So if you ask these patients to abduct, so if Babaji abduct career, you will see that on the other side he can do it. In this side he's trying hard, but still he cannot do it. So just relax. Now, when you see these patients, you can see some subtle signs that will give you a giveaway that this patient has a rotator cuff tear and it's been there for a while. If you see the shoulder here, the deltoid bulk is pretty good. Even on this side, he has got rotator cuff tear, but it's not that bad. Here you will see a profound wasting of deltoid. So deltoid is completely wasted. You can see um, a dip in, in the front. You can see the bones more visible. And if I turn him around on this side, you can see there is frank wasting of supraspinatus as well as infraspinatus. So, if I, what is arm drop test? So, arm drop test is nothing but if I raise his arm passively up to 90 degree and if I let go, you will see what happens. So, it will just drop. He has no control over it. And this is also a lag sign for supraspinatus. But this, if you have a massive rotator cuff tear, this is what you will see. So raise the arm up to 90 degree or maybe slightly more than 90 degree and let go, the arm will drop. So this is a positive arm drop test. Now this is a very simple test. This tells you that there is a massive rotator cuff tear. Now if you want to go into detail that which part of the rotator cuff is torn, then you need to do certain uh, more tests. So if the arm drop test is positive, that is a also a lag sign for supraspinatus that tells that supraspinatus is definitely gone. Now if you want to test the external rotators uh, that is uh, infraspinatus and teres minor, so all you need to do is to take his arm outside and then you will see he is not able to hold it. As I do it, it is falling back. So this is a lag sign positive and this tells me that even the external rotators are also gone. So we have assessed uh, supraspinatus, we have assessed uh, our external rotators. Now in my shoulder examination video, I have shown you how to do this lag test, but this is a clear demonstration of how you, how you will interpret test if the test is positive. Now same for subscapularis, which is an internal rotator. Uh, what we do is a belly press test. For lag sign, all you need to do is to bring this out in the front and see what happens it's falling back. So he's unable to hold his um, arm in the front and that is also a positive lag test which tells me that subscapularis is also gone. So viewers, this was a demonstration on how to do a lag test and uh, for uh, orthopedic consultants and physiotherapists, I also showed you the lag uh, signs for all the three group of uh, rotator cuff muscles. And if you do these lag signs, you will be able to further assess that which part of uh, the cuff is gone. So I hope this video is useful. Uh, do give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Do subscribe and do share our channel.